officers than the general population. There are also studies taking a look at other organ systems that have found that marijuana seeks out the cancerous cells and preferentially kills them over the healthy cells. There's a wealth of laboratory evidence that these anti-tumor properties kill cancer cells in a variety of ways. There are multiple mechanisms of action identified by which cannabis kills cancer cells. And they're divided into various categories. And among these are anti-proliferative effects. Normally, that's, that's one of the hallmarks of a cancer cell is that it just keeps reproducing. So if you stop the reproduction, that's an anti-proliferative effect. There are anti-angiogenesis effects, and this means that the cannabinoids will stop the tumor from being able to elaborate or grow new blood vessels to support the growth of the tumor. There are anti-metastatic effects, and that is simple enough to mean that the cannabinoids block the ability of the cancer cells to spread into other tissues. And there's another effect that has a wild name, apoptotic effect. Apoptosis refers to the ability of cannabinoids to speed the death of the abnormal cells. And that's something that is, is especially important in cancer because you're, you're able to hasten the death of the cell without disturbing the normal cells around it. Seth Research Laboratories in California have recently demonstrated that in some tumors, cancer cells are killed by marijuana, while the other healthy cells are left untouched. Have a significant effect on fighting almost all major cancers, including brain, breast, prostate, lung, thyroid, colon, skin, pituitary, melanoma, and leukemia cancers. They do this by promoting the death of cancer cells that have forgotten how to die, as well as a reduction in their crucial blood supply while leaving healthy cells untouched. There's nothing else that impacts on so many of our illnesses. People have a hard time believing that cannabis can have all of these fantastic effects that are described. But what we're doing is we're just stimulating a natural system that's already there. This has been developing for hundreds of millions of years. The early, the invertebrates, the sea squirts, the hydra. There are primitive endocannabinoid systems in those organisms back, dating back six, seven hundred million years ago. The cannabis plant came along maybe 50 or 60 million years ago. Why aren't billions in funds being directed toward cannabinoid research by the organizations that raise money for cancer therapies? The research on the medical use of cannabis with highly impressive and sometimes revolutionary discoveries. Why is marijuana against the law? It grows naturally in our planet. It is true that for those who use it regularly, pot can change your way of thinking, and it can make people question why they should continue to do things that aren't making them happy. I like, like smoking marijuana, it calms me down, I'm just totally at ease. I'm so happy about it, the world is amazing. They lie about marijuana. People have a hard time believing that cannabis can have all of these fantastic effects that are described. They lie about marijuana.